Hey everyone, I'm Mary Beth again, Jerusalem Red Central, and I am here today with Paul Owens, the director of the new film Landlocked. Hello, how are you? Hey, how's it going? I am very excited to be chatting with you about this movie. I saw this during the festival circuit in 2022, and I'm so excited for it finally to be out in the world. But for viewers who maybe aren't familiar with the film, can you just give us a little brief synopsis about Landlocked? Yeah, so Landlocked, it's a movie I made starring my family, um, my brothers and my dad, my mom. And basically we adapted our old home family movies into kind of like a time travel horror story. Um, Hell yeah. This is always really hard to explain. Um, <laughs> let's see. So like my brother, Mason, who, who plays himself, um, he kind of returns to the family home after years of being away and he finds a VHS camcorder that can see into the past and record the past. And he sort of becomes obsessed with documenting as much of the past as possible before the house is torn down. And he kind of becomes entangled in memories and spooky stuff starts to happen. And there's like a monster that lives between time. And yeah, that's probably enough, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So where did the idea kind of come from, especially in using old family videos and using your family members for the film? Hmm. That was um, so kind of similar to the character in the movie that my brother plays. I kind of returned home after a couple years away and it was very different. Like my mom and dad had been divorced. So like just, just the overall vibe oh. of the family home was like a little different. Um, definitely like a you can't go home again kind of thing. Um, mm -hmm. and it was a weird time in my life. I don't know. Um, <laughs> and I was kind of just going through things, old things, and just sort of just like revisiting things because I'd gone away and it was, felt like my connection to the house in the past was kind of severed and I was kind of uh -huh. trying to rediscover some things. And I found just a big box of old tapes in the closet, uh, old home movie tapes and started to watch them and just it you know looking at the screen and seeing this happy family and then you know looking around me and like the house is kind of falling apart now and you know definitely no joy in the walls anymore you could say um and it just occurred to me like oh maybe we could juxtapose these two things together somehow and i could get my family to play like the older versions of the people that are in the videos and yeah make a thing out of it and that was kind of the seed of it yeah cool. and so how did your family react when you said i want to use us i want to use our family in this movie like what was that reaction at first and that to the idea i didn't tell them that much really like when you're we doing <laughs> it i was like you're gonna be in the bed here and you're gonna be like dying okay that's your you know, that's it. and um <laughs> he did that <laughs> no uh, <laughs> it uh They've been acting in my movies for a long, long time, uh, cool. going back. So for them, it was it was kind of normal, like okay, you know, going back to middle school, high school, college time. It was always like, hey, I gotta do this thing. Can you guys help me out? You could play a dead body, right? You could be the main character, maybe. Um, and they're like, yeah, sure. Like they were always down to help out. So when it was like, okay, this is gonna be a movie, they were like, whatever. So, and. <laughs> and and that's, like and, and, you, and they felt this they felt the same way about using the old tapes too like in using those as the memories they cool. didn't care yeah love <laughs> yeah sweet love a supportive family with filmmaking yeah. that's incredible yeah yeah, yeah. yeah no and, so they're been a, to their yeah anyway, <laughs> well yeah. and there's there's a really cool vibe of like found footage but not exactly found footage and I was curious if you are a found footage fan and if there was any kind of found footage films that ever kind of inspired you or made you think like kind of you thought of them while making Landlocked. I never thought of it as a found footage movie until people okay. like you started saying things like this <laughs> <laughs> and I was like shit oh yeah I guess it is um because usually found footage is actually made up footage and not actually found yeah so it was i never i just saw it as like a documentary that was also a narrative like a oh, like cool. a combo like a combo kind of thing okay. and um so it never really even occurred to me until some people started saying that and i was like oh yeah i guess it is um but i mean i you know blair witch like everyone else um yeah is a big one um but i kind of 
didn't really keep up with it until more recently as I've gotten like more into like being in the horror world um stuff like the outwaters um seeing oh, that yeah. was like shit okay maybe I should watch more of these things um so I've gotten more into it now now that people have said you made a movie that was a found footage movie I'm like I should watch some of these um but yeah I didn't really no not really <laughs> cool yeah. well and something I really love about those movies specifically is how you use bugs and that's something that I've like I the first time I watched it is how you like bugs are used in this movie and there's a lot of close-up of bugs and maybe it's just because there were a lot of bugs in the in the house but I just love the way that bugs kind of exist in the film and I wanted to hear more about that if that was purposeful or just an aesthetic choice and yeah <laughs> I mean, growing up in the country, um, there's just always bugs around, really. And there's just, you know, I have a lot of memories of wasps in the windows, like bouncing around, trying to get it out. That's like, you know, that happened all the time. And so it just felt like if I was going to make a movie about this place and this, this this time that it would need to have some bugs in it. And, I, you know, I think in the end, they represent something that I'm not going to talk about. But, uh, you know, they're, they, cool. they mean things. But yeah, I like them too. <laughs> I agree. Cool. Okay. I mean, I just love a good old, like, I mean, and maybe it's my own kind of experience going back home and it not being the same, but that idea of like the kind of that old family house falling apart around you is incredibly yeah. emotionally touching for me. And I'm, and as from hearing from you, I can, it obviously has a very similar emotional connection to you, but how did you find the house that you used? Did you have a connection to that house or was that like, how did you That's find the, the house I grew up in? Oh, that is, so that is the, that is the house you grew up in. Mm -hmm, okay, mm -hmm, wow. So yeah, yeah. in filming this, what, how was that emotionally then for you <laughs> to talk about, like, and just kind of getting deep here, like, was, catharsis might not be the end, like, the word, but like, what was that emotional experience like for you and your family to be filming this movie in this house as it's falling apart? <clears throat> it was catharsis, actually. Um Okay. It, there was a lot of takes that ended with us like in tears really like just like oh wow I'm even like getting a little teary right now just thinking oh, about yeah. it like yeah <laughs> it like uh yeah there's a couple takes where just like we were expressing these things that maybe we never said out loud and oh it wow. was like you know we end a take and just be like have tears in our eyes and be like geez that was amazing man to god and yeah there was there was there was a scene where my dad is like on his deathbed and we were like you know, you would think that would be a super grave, like, okay, guys, let's all be respectful here. But we got the giggles and just like couldn't stop laughing through the whole scene. And he was like, okay, guys, hang on, we need to shoot this thing where my dad dies. Okay, just keep it down now. Um, and it was just like, yeah, it was really unexplainable. Really, I don't know what happened, but it was something was really cathartic about it. And I feel like, yeah, we just, we were, acting out these things that we'd all felt maybe and yeah just had never really expressed and wow yeah it made the made the emotions like come out in a really weird way and yeah like oh uh, yeah it's, it's emotional wow that's a wild experience about it what with your yeah. and like it's your family acting in it too like that is such a wild experience yeah. and did you feel like it ever like brought you closer to your family in a way in doing oh, this yeah. together oh sure oh sure wow. um yeah, yeah, yeah. And like my mom, she had never been in any of the, in, in the movies before. And so that was a unique one for her to be in. And Oh, wow. Um, yeah. I don't know. It's hard to really talk about, explain. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's all, and, 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 incredible. Yeah. Well, that's incredible. That is incredible. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Are you a horror a fan? The movie, for sure. Oh, yeah. No, that is. Is this, and it like, I love talking about movies like that, like this and hearing that emotional mm. impact. Cause you know, I watch a movie and have these emotional connections to it, but then hearing your own, it just makes that emotional connection for me even stronger with that movie. And like, oh, the feelings that I am having and projecting onto it, like that's not silly. Like it, it feels affirming in a way. And I like yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. But so kind of shifting gears a little bit, are you a horror fan? Like, were you a horror fan? Have you been a horror fan? you knew to horror <laughs> yes and no um okay as a little kid definitely and it was more the iconography of it just was always okay. around like i remember there was a freddy dream child standee like in the video store that was, was like terrifying yeah. and um 
it was always like a part of things. It was never like my favorite genre, um, yeah. let's say, but it was amongst the genres. And then um, kind of kind of starting to make movies, I noticed that I was making horror movies or scary movies or spooky movies. Or And I was like, why am I doing this? It's not like horror is my genre or anything. And for some reason, it just came out that way. And it was like, why am I making scary movies? This is not what I planned on. I was like, I'm going to make comedies or action movies. I don't even know. But um, <laughs> I just sort of tried a bunch of stuff out, like going into film school and was like, this is what I think I do best. And then I started more like, I should watch more really and try to be a student of it. Um, I don't have a lot of time these days. When you start making movies, it's hard to actually watch them. It's weird. Oh, yeah. So I'm really out of touch and don't feel like I know really what's going on at all. Like I've gotten more in the know, like the last year being on the festival circuit with a lot of like really amazing stuff. So yeah. I feel like I've seen some really crazy, you know, stuff that's about to break. But uh, yes and no. Yes and no. Cool. So then what's next for you? What do you want to make next? What are your, like, what kind of movies do you, or topics in horror do you want to tackle next? What's next for Paul? I uh, definitely want to keep going with some of the ideas in this movie. Um, I think the emotionality cool. of the movie I'd like to retain. Um, Hell yeah. Uh, the improvisation, sort of working with non-actors I'd like to do. Maybe something just cool. like a little more commercial, a little more a little less art artsy maybe um a little less artsy fartsy so <laughs> but i love artsy <laughs> all right i'll keep going sure just for you <laughs> just for me i know obviously just me is paying the paying the bills obviously <laughs> you're paying for it you're paying for it well paul thank you so much for sharing about landlocked and everyone it is thank available you. now on digital and on demand thanks so much yeah thank you